all of the bulb holders were badly damaged and so I've decided to rewire it, put new bulb holders in and I've got new LED bulbs to go in as well. So it should take rightful place in the, the kitchen. What I'll do now is strip it down and rewire it for his new place in the house. I'm ready to feed the wire through. Now what I've found is that there's a, a threaded conduit that goes into the stem of the candelabra and it, it's used to hold down the sconce here and also the thread here for the light fitting. Now that is a little bit too deep in the frame so I found that if I unscrew it from there it makes the path of the wire a lot less tortuous and it will move through there so I'll try I'm going to secure these together with the new wire and then I'm going to pull it through so I've joined the, the new wire just to one of the single wires going up here let's see if I can get it to go through I'm pulling both the black and the white old wires and they're going quite nicely I'll get that black one out of the way as a matter of fact I'll just pull him out there's the old black one um, and I can just pull the white feeding it in at the one end yeah I can feel it coming quite nicely the resistance is minimal Just feed it through. And just as I pulled it through the top here, my, my connection came undone. But that's okay. I, I can just feed through from the bottom now whilst pulling the last little bit. And there we are. That's got the wire through. And there he is. So I've got uh, all five sets of pairs of wires going through the arms now of the chandelier. I've got one slight problem and that is one of these nipples that hold a sconce on is badly damaged. I found a bolt which is the correct thread so now I'm going to try and drill a hole through it just large enough for Really, I can just have the wires coming through. It doesn't have to be the whole sheath. So I'm going to try that now. So all I have to do now is part it off. And... Uh, I think I'm out of trouble and there's the new nipple in place now so I can put the light fittings on for each sconce now and complete the wiring. We're now ready to put the, the light fitting on so what I do here is I'm going to cut this flex here about two inches from the exit of the from the nipple so And now I'm going to split that back to expose the wires. Trim off the outer sheath. And then fit the, the bottom of the fitting in. And there's a little locking nut there that secures it to the thread so just make sure that is undone, which it is. Yeah. Put the wires through. Put 
that's it. Tighten that up now so that it's well and truly anchored. And now we'll just bear these wires long enough for the fitting to go on. So I normally take up about uh, maybe three sixteenths of an inch, maybe a quarter, something like that. Twist the end. And we can put in the connector now. Right, and then we just push that into the holder and the top of it. That's it. On to the next one. And then finish. Now connected everything up. This feed wire that goes in here has to go down to the bottom and then come out through the holding bracket and back up through the outside so that I can screw in the cap. It's quite a fiddle. But all I've got to do now is put the top on and give it a test. I've now wired this up to a plug onto the chandelier. So let's just plug it into the mains. <laughs> yes, it's working. Everything's functioning perfectly. So let's go and put it into the house. <laughs> 